Hey guys, welcome back to another perfume review. Now I'm going to review this perfume called Blush by Rebecca Minkoff. Stay tuned. Alright, so guys, let's get into the scent. Hmm. I don't know yet. Alright guys, so this perfume has Italian bergamot, black currant, jasmine absolute, pear blossom, and tonka bean. It's not bad. I'm gonna let that settle. So it says blush radiates a soft, dreamlike essence celebrating womanhood. An effervescent top of sparkling bergamot, juicy Italian mandarin, and wild black currant brightens this scent with a fresh prism of color. Unapologetically feminine petals of exotic jasmine, precious orange flower, and delicate pear blossom create a beautiful floral heart. Notes of Moroccan cedarwood, Haitian vetiver, and creamy tonka bean blend to create a refined, ambery trail. All right guys, so I don't really like this perfume. Like, the perfume's not bad, but I just, I'm not feeling the scent to that level to where I wanna buy a bigger, a bigger bottle. <laughs> like, I don't know, it, it's not giving me a headache, but it just, I don't know. It is, and um, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, this is a floral scent because I'm smelling just mad, mad flowers all over the place. But yeah, I don't. It's not bad, but I just, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Like guys, the perfume is not strong. It's, I don't know. And it's just too much for me. I, I feel like it's, it's not subtle or strong at the same time. It's just, I don't know. I just don't like it. I just personally don't like it now as far as the season for me wearing this perfume like if I actually did like it I would obviously you know more so wear it during spring and summer because of those because of the flowers blooming and all these kind of stuff um, during those seasons now guys this scent gives off like a I wouldn't say a flirty kind of vibe like I don't know I don't want to say it's offensive I mean it's probably offensive to me because I don't really like the floral scent but um I don't know it's not easy going it's, I'm gonna just leave it at offensive because it's, it's just too much for my nose right now so for the occasion as far as where I would wear this for the occasion I would wear this if I was gonna wear it I would wear this I don't know this is more like an everyday scent because it's not like to me, like, in my opinion, it's not, like, something that's that fascinating, that, like, nice enough for me to wear it, like, on a special occasion. I would just put it on every single day or whatever just to, you know, wear the perfume. Uh, it's, it, like I said, it gives that floral scent because of all the flowers that I'm smelling. So, as far as the scent type, it's a floral scent. Alright, okay, so for the pricing, now, if you want this and, you know, you have the bigger size or whatever, you like the perfume, you like what it smells like, they have the 100 ml for $95. So I'll leave that link down below for purchase if you want to purchase the bigger size. Stars for this perfume. And I'm going to give this a, a 3 because I don't really like floral scents. So that's the only reason why I'm giving this a 3 because I just don't like floral scents. And this perfume is not the perfume for me. Now, like I said, I'll leave the link down below for purchase if you guys want to purchase the perfume. Uh, if you guys purchase this perfume and you like it, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys like it. And if you don't like it, and if you like this video and you feel like it's helped you, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to, share this video, comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video.